Hi and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a Batman cape that I am doing uh, for my husband's Batman costume. Um, here we're going to be doing a panel, six panel cape. Um, I wanted to challenge myself and try to do an actual angled cape for this um, Batman cape. So here the material that I'm using is, you can see it's shiny on one side and matted on the other. It is stretchable. And it actually stretches four different ways, so that way it gives you a better fit whenever you're putting it on. So first of all, I started off with uh, three yards of material. Um, you want to start by, you know, you can open up the material, extend it all the way out. Then we're going to fold it in half and then fold it again. This will give you more uh, use out of your material so whenever you're doing your um, your panels you can get four panels um, of triangles that we're going to be using and then it'll actually have another two at the end. In order to do so you will first um, mark the top um, center halfway your halfway mark so just put like a little line marker there and get a, a ruler or a straight edge and start from the center of the material down to the left corner then you want to do the same for the right side from the center of the material to the right corner And now I'm going to show you, I'm going to go ahead and cut the template here, the small template, and show you how you actually get six triangles out of that material. So that way you can use the um, all the material and not have much waste. Now the section of the waste that you um, have left over you can actually use to make the head sock. So now I'm going to lay it out to show you how the six panels are going to lay down here. And you can see it's going to have a large opening once it's completed. Now I'm going to show you how it's going to be um, put together here. That was the excess part that we're going to use for the head sock. Um, here I did a template of the triangle just to show you whenever, if you don't want to just cut it straight uh, without a guide, you can use a template. It was end up being 16 and a half inches long height by 29 wide, um, the triangle. So I just wanted to show you how large that panel was going to be once you use that three yards of material. So here you can see the um, two panels sewn together. This is the seam in between how it's going to look on the outside. And then you can see on the bottom uh, whenever you're doing the hem you want to just fold it one time, tuck it in, and then tuck it in one more time. And then you want to sew it across to so hold the inseam so it doesn't um, keep raveling on the bottom of your hem. You can see how I sewn the bottom there. Now another thing that I wanted to do was um, give the cape extension so whenever you open up the cape you can um, hold on to actually I, I put a little wooden rod in between the the seam on both ends here and then I just sewed the bottom so it wouldn't fall out. It's about 24 inches long and this gives you extensions to both sides of your cape so whenever you're opening it up you can hold on to it and it'll give it a full extension and it'll look really nice when you open it. Okay. 
here you can see three panels um, put together. Um, it's actually folded in half, so this is half of the width of the cape that you're seeing here. And we flip the other side here. You can see that on the back, um, you can see how I sewn it together. Um, always leave about a half inch seam there. Um, also, whenever you're stitching, make sure that you leave the stitch um, at the normal um, stitch. Not Don't do it too tight because whenever you, you're sewing uh, material that is stretchy, it actually works better. So here I'm going to show you how I did the head sock. Um, first of all, you always want to measure from the front of your forehead and then go to the back of your neck. Um, you also want to give it another couple inches down just for extra space there. Um, you can always cut off the bottom if you need to, but it's always good to give it just an extra give there. Um, depending when you add the cape, um, you might be too short, so it's always good to kind of leave it um, a little bit longer. And I'm going to be adding a, um, a front piece here, and I'll show you when I finish the sock how the, the front section is going to look here. You can also make a template so whenever you're cutting um, your material, you have an actual guide as well, like I did with the triangle pan. Now this is the scrap that I had left over after cutting those six panels. So you want to kind of just start with the top and then you can put your guide and draw the head sock that you need. You want to do the part where your face is, so you want to do a kind of a curve in the front as well. As you can see here on the template, Right there, you want to put your circle or half circle so whenever you cut it, that's where your face is going to fit. So, also, whenever you're going to um, stitch, you want to do that same hem like I did with the bottom of the cape. Now, right here, you want to just sew, stitch those two sides together just at the very top, just a little, like about an inch, and leave the bottom open and I'll show how it looks here in a little bit. So here you can see the head sock on. You can see the, the bottom where I told you just to stitch a little part and then left the bottom open. So here you can see the inseam of how I sewed the, around the face of the head sock. You can see how stretchy it is. And that's what you want because you want it to fit good around your face. Here you can see the seam in the back of the head sock, so you can see how it was sewn together there. And then this is the part that I was telling you that you want to kind of leave an opening, just a little stitch, because I end up putting a triangle um, cut piece on the bottom, and then I'm going to show you once I put it onto the top of the costume, how it's going to snap on and how the actual um, head sock is going to look on top so you can see the effect that it's going to have. And then here I sewed the head sock to the cape and what I did on that is I just did the fold over there because I wanted it to look like almost like two pieces the head sock kind of actually going on top of the cape and having the cape tucked underneath there. So I really liked how this the effect is. The other way you could have done it was if you did it kind of like I did the seams of the panel and have it more of a consistent of a one piece is another way look you can actually sew. So now I'm going to um, attach the cape to the top of the costume here. Now the first thing I did was I put three snaps in um, I put one on both shoulders and then I put one on the front of the costume to actually hold down the cape and so it didn't move. And that way you can see here how I cut the inside of the cape where it would have been like the top of the triangles. You want it when you attach it to that head sock, you want to still leave a about a half inch give there on your, your seams. Here I'm going to attach it to the right side and then the 
left side. You do want to pull, pull it over your head first. It'll be easier to put on there. And then snap the two sides. And then you're going to snap the cape in the front. See, now you can see the effect that I wanted there when I attached that triangle piece across that head sock. I kind of liked the effect. You'll see here it looks more of like a, a web effect where it goes down and then you can see how the cape goes over the, the shoulders there and goes down. So that was the effect that I wanted. I'm going to show you how it's going to look. I'm just going to go ahead and put this mannequin head so just to kind of give you the effect of how it's going to look with the cowl. And you can see that the neck area is going to be covered now and you're not going to be able to see that. And you're going to see the cape, again, the arch that I wanted to see with the, or have the effect when I made that cape. And you can see here, I'm going to extend it out to show you. The full length. There you go. So this is how the cape is going to look and it extends out. So thank you very much for watching our channel. Uh, please subscribe and um, like our channel.